Welcome back to another video from the How To Scholar. In this video, I'll teach you how to draw Bohr diagrams. The steps to drawing Bohr diagrams are first, the atomic number represents the amount of protons, which when we're talking about atoms equals the electrons. The period represents the number of energy levels and the group represents the valence electrons. Then you're going to draw the element symbol once you've done that, you can add as many energy levels as you need, as well as as many electrons as there should be. So for the first example, you're asked to draw the Bohr diagram for carbon. And when I look at carbon from the periodic table, I know that there are six electrons. It is in period two and in group 14. And I got, I got all that information from looking at my periodic table. Period two tells me that there's going to be two energy levels or electron shells. Group 14 tells me that there's going to be four valence or outer electrons. So I begin by writing my symbol, carbon, C is represented. And then I'm gonna draw my orbitals. The very first orbital has two electrons, so I've drawn them in, as well as there's one more energy level, so I'll draw then that in as well. And then I'm going to fill in the remaining electrons. There are one, two, three, four, and how I draw those is in as a clock, in the 12 o'clock, three o'clock, six o'clock, and nine o'clock positions. Electrons fill in each orbitals first, and then you want one electron in each orbital, like I said before, before they start pairing or if they start pairing at all. So we're gonna do that here, 12 o'clock, three o'clock, six o'clock, and nine o'clock. Notice when we count it up, one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six electrons, so that makes sense. Next, I ask you to draw the Bohr diagram for sodium. Looking at the periodic table, the symbol is Na. We know that there are 11 electrons for sodium. We also know that it's in period three and group one. Period three tells us, that, tells us that there is going to be three energy levels and group one tells us that sodium will have one valence electron. So let's start by drawing the symbol Na. In the first energy level I'm gonna draw, there are two electrons. In the second energy level. There are eight, and I fill one in each orbital before pairing. And in the third energy level, there is one, which makes sense because there's one valence electron. Count it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven electrons like we should see. The third example, I ask you to draw the Bohr diagram for phosphorus. So phosphorus is in the top right of the periodic table. We know with phosphorus that it has 15 electrons. It's in period three and group 15 as well. Period three tells us phosphorus will have three energy levels or three shells in the diagram. Group 15 tells us that it will have five valence or outer electrons. So let's start by drawing the symbol which is a P for phosphorus in the first, and I'll draw all the shells um, first before I fill in my electrons, second shell and the third shell is here. I'll just move that. All right, so now I can fill in my electrons, one in each orbital until they pair up very quickly. There are 15 electrons, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So there we go. I hope that video helped you. Um, I'll be coming up with some more chemistry videos that cover things in a little bit more detail. So um, please be sure to watch for those videos upcoming and please subscribe to the How To Scholar for more how-to videos. Thanks for watching.